Hi there, welcome along to this screencast where I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to integrate Raygun into your Ruby on Rails web application. This allows you to give amazing error tracking that sends all errors that occur in your application automatically up to Raygun, where they are visible in a powerful dashboard and you also get instant email notifications. I'm going to be doing this by integrating Raygun error tracking into a brand new application. So we can do this like so. and that will just let the generator run away there. So the key component you need to plug into your web application is Raygun for Ruby. It comes as a gem, so we'll just add it to the gem file once this is done. So now we'll just change into the directory that we created and open up our text editor for the gem file and we need to add a new line for Raygun for Ruby. So we'll save that and now we just need to run the bundle command again to grab that and then we can check that that's done by running bundle show raygun for ruby and there it is so now uh, we'll just remove the index file that the generators created so now the next thing to do is uh, add a route so we can do this by running the following command So it's welcome con generate controller. And there it is. So now we can open up the routes. And down here somewhere, we'll just uncomment that just to get it up and running quickly. So now we can, I'll just test that. So yep, the server's running, so if we visit localhost, and there it is. So now, using this controller, we're going to throw an error, and this is going to be automatically caught and sent to Raygun. So to do this, we'll just close that down, and we need to open the route. Uh, sorry, we need to open the controller. So that is available in app slash controllers. So it actually only requires one line, but we're going to add, uh, sorry, enable verbose error reporting. That can be done with this command here. And then inside this controller, we're going to raise a new exception, and that will be automatically picked up by the provider. After that's done, there's only one more step. We need a app on our Raygun dashboard to send it to. So after you've created a Raygun account, you're going to see a page similar to this. So we need to create a new application. Just call that Rails Test App. There it is. And here we have email error notification options, so we'll just leave those both off for now. So now we can view full instructions for Rails here, but uh, we don't actually, uh, sorry, Ruby here, but we don't actually need that. All we need to do is copy the API key here. And now there's a special command built into the uh, Raygun for Ruby gem that we need to install it that will set everything up for us. That command is And if you see this message here, initializer and raygun.rb, it is done. So now we can start up our server and test out our exception. Refresh the page. And over here you will see up the top that it has raygun has tracked the exception and sent it to the server. So now if we refresh the dashboard it should have been caught. And there it is, so the error dashboard is up, it's caught one error, and here is our error down here, it sent a minute ago, and so here we can drill down into the error to see all the statistics, to, statistics about it. Importantly, the backtrace, here's our message and the exact line which it was generated on. So if there was a proper web error, such as a post, we would have request data, none's available at the moment, and there's also uh, more error detail about it if it was a real exception. You can also view the raw data down here. 
So that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Oh, and uh, the you may notice that there's no data available on the charts, but that is populated after a couple of minutes. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's pretty easy to integrate. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, make them here, or you can send them to us in the forums. Thanks very much for watching.